Rami Bukai from Laguna Hills, California. Had a couple of caches last year. He's got a couple of aces. I call. Oh, see you ahead of him. He will slow play those aces. Just make the call. Action folds around to Havad Khan. Havad said his goal is to make the final 100 here at the main event. He's inching his way. Oh, pocket queens. We've already seen pocket aces. And Havad's going to push the action. Makes it 74,000 total now to play. Well, that's the right raise, but the wrong time for Havad. Just bad timing for pocket queens. And Peterson smartly gets out of the way. Action back to Bukai. 52. About how much, Jeff? And total chips? These are 30 each. Boy, if Bukai pushes all in here, he's got Havad covered, and it will be tough for Havad to get away from those queens. Not all in, but Bukai does raise it to 224,000. It would cost Khan 150,000 to play. But you know, Bukai just calling originally with the aces might pay dividends here. Havad certainly might think his queens are best, and that could get him in trouble. Come on. Call it. And nice Khan does Rami step into it in and, make the call. and finds out he's Rami in trouble. The ace of diamonds, ace of clubs. Nice he lost a lot of chips to Uberius a while ago, and now seeing all Rami. his chips disappear uh, is a nice possibility. Nice nice like. yeah. Bukai outplayed uh, Khan, nice and played. Havad just might be silenced. Now the flop. And oh my! Oh. Quad Queens! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> my goodness. Quad Queen. Holy s. <laughs> oh, nobody can believe what they're seeing. Break that turn because the dance is coming, baby. King Kong's in wardrobe. Turn card is a five of spades. Oh, 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 Bukai oh, oh, oh. drawing dead, and yeah. Khan has come back uh, from the dead. Woo! <laughs> 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 It's hard to love him, but it's hard to hate him. <laughs> wow. Suck. Oh my god, I suck. It's so bad. It happens. You can understand, it's so hard to put you on aces and kings in one orbit that many. I mean, do you hate my play? I mean, no, no, it's fine. Nice hand. Yo, ma. Bukai, very gracious in defeat. Quad <laughs> queens. <laughs> <laughs> also sitting here is a Southern California anesthesiologist, Roy Winston. I'm going to raise. With ace 10, he says, I'm going to raise. Okay, Lon, this guy's an anesthesiologist who grew up with Adam Schoenfeld in Brooklyn. What chance does he have to beat Kenny Tran? <laughs> well, he's got a good chance with a better raise. And Kenny will come into the pot. I expect Kenny, who's dominated right now, will outplay him after the flop. <laughs> All right, so ace-10 versus ace-8. Winston ahead right now. The flop, 7-8, Trey. All hearts. Kenny Tran pairs his eight to take the lead. Well, Kenny doesn't have to outplay him. He just got a better flop. Neither player has a heart. Winston says he's going to bet 150000 Did Adam Schoenfeld teach him to bet 150000 as a 5-1 to one dog? <laughs> now watch Kenny Tran. He's a pro. He's just going to call him. Just a call from Kenny Tran mm -hmm. with top pair. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's go to the turn. Deuce of hearts. Four hearts on the board. And remember, neither player with a heart. 350. 350 from Winston, though. Boy, this is one aggressive amateur leading out with nothing. And I doubt... Kenny can call right here. His pair of eights shrink with all those hearts out there. And wow, Kenny does make the call. Winston bluffed, but Kenny didn't blink. Another deuce. Tran with the check mark with two pair. 700. Boy, he's bet every step of the way. 100, then 150, 350, now 700. And Kenny Tran is still standing. I guess Kenny determined on the turn correctly so that Winston does not have a flush. If Tran trusts his read, this pot is too big to walk away from. But I would fold. This must be the worst call in my life. It would be for half of his remaining chips. Maybe not. But Winston is motionless. Why did I think you f with me? Well, Kenny's radar is working well. Wow. Can he call this? Oh, father, what should I do? I would fold. I call. He called him. It's a good call. World class call. I'm a genius! <laughs> oh my god! That's got to be the greatest call in poker. 
That's got to be the greatest. It's an all-timer. How'd I call? I don't know how he made that call. How'd I call that? Oh my god. Am I the best? Say it. Admit it. Say it. Say it. You have to say it. I'll say you're pretty good if you want to say it. Talk, Andy. That is one of the top 250 calls in poker history. Oh god. Winston gave up 1.3 million. How sick is that? How sick is that? As sick as it gets, Kenny. Raymond Rami from South Africa. Pocket eights from the small blind. And he will come into the pot. And David Tran, the big blind, gives it up. Three to the flop. Seven, ace, queen. Rami's eights are still best. I hope Helm likes looking at men. Because at a poker table, that's pretty much all he gets to stare at. Rami checks, as does Henson. And Philip Hilton checks as well. Even stares at the dealer. A seven on the turn, pairs the board. Rami still leads. Maybe Rami's amused by Hilton's stare. Rami checks. Henson now drawing dead. That's what the zero percent is for? That is what the zero percent is for. And he still bets 600,000. Well, I like that bet with the six tray. First of all, I believe Henson knows he's drawn dead. And second of all, everyone seems weak. Why not? They got Hilm out of the hand, who had a straight draw. See, got rid of one better hand. But, ah, these 62-year-olds are tougher to shake. See, when you get that old line, you figure it might be your last hand ever, so you keep playing. <laughs> he's not that old. And Rami makes the call. All right, now the river card with Henson drawing dead. A nine of hearts. Rami first to act. And he checks it again. Rami checked the flop, the turn, and the river. Henson bet the turn. He can't give up now, can he? Well, he knows he can't win the hand unless he bets. Some people would wave a white flag at this point. No, he's going to wave pink chips, and 20 of them mean 1 million. I, I like that bet. Then again, I like Dukakis <laughs> in 88. Rami piecing the hand back together. Remember, Henson checked the flop, so Rami might figure the flop didn't help him at all. But Henson is fired away on the turn in the river with nothing. Rami just with a pair of eights, and there's a lot of cards that could beat him. Oh, cool. But he does make the call. Squad douche gets squashed. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Nobody can believe he made the call. Great call. Kenny Tran would say it was a sick call. <laughs> wow. One more messing around with him. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, he's got nothing. No, he's got nothing. Raymond Robbie takes down a nice pot. Good call. Raymond, Raymond. Here you go, baby. The Prince of Poker pays a tribute. And Robbie collects years' worth of respect with that play. Thank God he lied me. <laughs> Hilm no longer the chip leader. That goes to Jerry Yang right now. And with Ace King. One million. You know, it wasn't too long ago he was giggling at saying one million when he bet, and he seems to have the hang of it now, Norman. Well, you know you're on a roll when you haven't finished stacking your chips up from another hand and you're able to raise the next hand, <laughs> and he's immediately starting to play big stack poker with that big raise. Eight five of diamonds for Helm in the small blind. If I were Helm, I might lick my wounds a little longer and wait for a better spot. Call. Philip is not waiting. He makes the call. He's come to play, and he's come to play with Jerry Yang again. Big blind John Kalmar folds, and so once again, Helm and Yang go to the flop. Yang with the advantage with Ace King. The flop is Jack King. Five. Yang pairs his King. Helm also got a pair of fives and a flush draw. Jerry Yang keeps getting hands, and he keeps hitting flops. And Philip Hill got a piece of that flop, and he checks. Two million. And Jerry's going to crank it a little harder. Two million. The new chip leader keeps the pressure on the old chip leader. I know Hill likes his swashbuckling image, but there's a time to swash, and there's a time to buckle. Right now, he's just kind of treading water. Uh, he does make the call of the two million very calmly. Staring back at Jerry Yang with a turn card to come. And it is a deuce of hearts, no help to Philip Hilm. He checks it again. Yang always very deliberate. Four million. Wow. Jerry is a betting machine. How deep does Philip Hilm want to get in? I'm all in. All the way. Wow. 
Well, he is just swashbuckled with his flush draw and a baby pair. And if Yang calls here, Hill might wash ashore. Hill must not believe Jerry has the goods. I call. Yang makes the call to put Hilm at risk. This seems improbable. Hilm was chip leader like 15 seconds ago. And this would be for most of Jerry's chips also if he gets unlucky here. Philip Hilm had everything going for him. Oh, I forgot we have the uh, bearded lady concession here at the Rio. <laughs> Khan trying to break some of the tension, but it cannot detract from Philip Hilm's predicament. Helm now needs an eight, a five, or a diamond, or his day is over. And now the river card. It's a six yes! of clubs! Yes! 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 Yang has eliminated yes! Philip Helm! Uh, that is a monster meltdown for Philip Helm from penthouse to outhouse in two hands. Ninth place, $526,000 for Philip Helm. And Lars Bonding is crushed. So here we go, heads up. $4.8 million for runner-up, eight and a quarter million for our champion. Jerry Yang, 39, born in Laos, spent four years in a Thai refugee camp. Tuan Lam, 41, born in Vietnam, spent two years in an Indonesian refugee camp. Jerry Yang with a four to one chip advantage on Tuan Lam. Both players have vowed to donate a portion of their winnings to charitable causes. Jerry Yang looks at pocket eights. Two different routes for these guys getting here. Yang sees the chip lead early. Tuan Lam has pretty much folded his way into prime time. <laughs> a raise. raise. And Jerry is going to raise it. Any pocket pair heads up. But pretty much any two cards for Jerry means a raise. He makes it $2.3 million. Tuan Lam actually played very well to get here. He just got conservative here at the final table. Ace, queen of diamonds. I'm all in. And he moves all in. <laughs> So Lamb putting the pressure on early. Yang will take his time. Even if he were to call here and lose, he'd still have a, a three to two chip lead on Lamb. I call. Jerry makes the call, and here we go. Yes. Both players, Norman, Come seem on. pleased with their hole cards. Come on. Jerry should be happier. I'm gonna do it for Canada, man. Yes. Juan Lamb with ace queen needs some help. Jerry Yang will need to just hang on with those pocket eights. Yang trying to complete his remarkable final table run. He started as the second shortest stack, but like Jamie Gold last year, he has knocked out all but one player here at the final table. Lamb just looking to get lucky. All right, and now the flop. And he does get lucky! Lamb pairs his queen! Juan Lam has come from behind again and again. And for the all-day chip leader, Jerry Yang has taken a ton of blows to the head. Lam in great position to put a hurt on Jerry. Head up, baby! Yang looking for help on the turn. Turn card is a seven. Lamb still way ahead, but Jerry picks up a straight draw. That, that gives Jerry four more outs here. Two improbable finalists bumping heads in poker's biggest arena. Jerry's wife, Sue, most anxious right now. And Jerry holding that picture of their kids in his hands. To knock Lamb out and end this thing, Yang will need an eight or a six for a straight. The river card. It's a six! Yeah! He hit it! Yeah! Jerry Yang is the 2007 world champion. And there's one unhappy multimillionaire.